Good Wednesday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onick. A quick check of the forecast going into the next couple of days. Things are pretty quiet for now, but as we go toward Friday, that's where we start to see some more problems heading our direction, as in the potential for maybe some severe weather coming back into the Mid-South. And at this time of the year, it is so desperately important to make certain that you pay attention to the forecast and know what's going to be coming up because it will be changing over the course of the next couple of days. One way or the other, we could again see less of a chance of severe weather or even greater chances of severe weather. And worst of all, it looks like a lot of this is going to again be hitting right about at nighttime on Friday evening. We're going to talk more about that potential coming up here in just a little bit. Again, it is a beautiful morning so far. Lots of dry conditions across the Mid-South. And if you are just tuning in to join us, first of all, welcome to Weather Overtime, our online video weather blog. Drop your location, put city states, and if you have any weather information, we'd love to see more about that. Put those into the comments section and we'll pass those along to everybody as we talk about that. If you've never been here before, this is our online video weather blog keeping you updated in sort of a video magazine format. So again, what we've got here for this morning is just an overall update of what's going on. Can't stick around for everything. Forecast in the blue bar at the bottom of your screen. Seven day forecast down here, which all of that you can pick up at this website, wreg.com slash weather. Got any questions, concerns, or suggestions about what you like to see on here. Love to hear of that. Complaints if you absolutely must. Again, check out more and email me at austin.onic at wreg.com. A few more clouds this morning than what we're going to see for this afternoon and much warmer conditions. For those of you who have been a little tired of the cooler weather that we have seen across the Mid-South, we're going to be getting back into some nicer temperatures. There's no question about that, but may see a little cooler weather as we go toward the weekend. More on that in your 7 to 10 day forecast coming up here in just a little bit. Should be some very mild weather coming up as we head into the rest of the day. Winds will also be a little breezy south at about 10 to 20 miles per hour, so we are not seeing anything in the way of a wind advisory. Usually you have to get up over about 35, 40 miles per hour before that starts happening, but not seeing that. Either way, if you're driving east-west across the Mid-South with those southerly winds pushing on your vehicle, definitely want to keep a firm hand on the steering wheel and a firm view as to what's going on down the road ahead of you, just to be, again, careful there. A few of our webcams around the Mid-South from the Weatherbug system in Clarksdale, Mississippi. View from Heidelberg Elementary, a few clouds, but mainly blue skies and a lot of sunshine there. More clouds looking off toward the northwest from the Rhodes College campus camera, from the Weather Underground Network camera there, and a live view of I-40 and Witten Road from our transmitter tower camera. Light amounts of traffic, again, going north-south, much heavier going east-west, and a little bit more haze and, unfortunately, a little bit more pollution stacking up in the atmosphere, which typically happens at this time of the morning. You can see that haze layer right there. That's mainly coming in from the tailpipes of all the cars and the trucks that you see down there, and all of that we're breathing in as well. A little bit clearer view down towards South Haven, I-55 and Goodman Road, but you can still see a little bit of, of that haze layer, that pollution level right there elevated for today. Winds will be picking up, stirring up the atmosphere, so hopefully we won't see too much more of that in the next couple of days. Storm Tracker 3S radar, nothing showing up across the Mid-South, ramping up the sensitivity here to see if there's anything out there, and as of right now, just really not that much to report at this point in time. Thanks, everybody, for checking in from around the Mid-South, from Detroit, Michigan. William Skage, I hope I'm saying that right, light snow, okay, well, definitely nothing like that down this direction, but thanks for checking in uh, into and around that area. Thanks to everybody else for popping on through for this morning as well, and again, drop your location and any weather reports like Mr. William uh, just popped in there, and we'll feature those again coming up throughout the course of the rest of the morning. Chilly right now. Just passed again about the 8 o'clock hour, and temperatures remain brisk, not in the 30s. Some of the warmest numbers back in the lower to mid-40s for the most part, and that's about all that we've got for right now. Should be seeing some much warmer conditions into the rest of the day. If you'd like this information to find out where the closest WeatherNet site is to your location, again, head to this website right here at wreg.com slash weather to find out more information at this point in time. Uh, Wayne Wheeler, news in the same form as weather. Well, just, just doing the weather forecast as we see it for right now, but thank you very much uh, for the comments out there. Purvis to plug pain, it looks like it's going to be 
What is this just be friends weather outside for today? Well, fair weather friend weather, that's pretty good for right now. Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Charles Edward Stanton. Good morning, and thanks for joining us from Milwaukee. Say hello to a reporter, a friend of mine, Rick Bloom, up there uh, on the TV stations. I think he's over closer to Madison, if I'm not mistaken, but thanks a lot for dropping on through this morning. And from Carroll County, Paula Shock. Thanks for joining us on there. From Bartlett, Wayne Wheeler, thank you very much. And Glenn... Messer, I hope I'm saying that right, from Cordova. Two-point typeface and bifocals don't work too well out there. Okay, running the numbers for the rest of the day. By the time the kids get done with school, looks like numbers are going to be back into the mid-60s. Should be pushing lower 70s, so very comfortable. The moving lines on screen showing the winds out there a little bit more on the breezy side throughout the course of the rest of the day. So expect those winds and those warmer temperatures out across the Mid-South where we get into the rest of the day. So some fairly mild conditions, but again, relatively close to normal for this time of the year. Through News Channel 3 at 10, temperatures will be back into the 60s, so decently calm when it comes to just general weather. It'll still be breezy with those winds coming in from out of the south throughout the rest of the day. And now to tomorrow morning, kids at the bus stop, it's going to be cool, but it's not going to be quite as chilly as this morning. Why is that? Because these southerly winds are still in place, keeping the temperatures up. So low temperatures tomorrow morning are not going to be that low, back in the lower 50s, and that's going to be about as good as it gets for right now. So looking very pleasant today, and if you like today's temperatures. You're going to love what we see for tomorrow as numbers get a little bit above normal. We've been below normal for the last several days, especially this weekend. If you remember the snow and ice that we picked up with that passing storm system north of us, this time around things are looking a lot nicer. Now we'll talk more about that in the 7 to 10 day forecast in just a little bit. Severe threat right now, not for today, not seeing anything close to the Mid-South. Likewise, as we go into Thursday, not seeing anything, but Here's where things start getting a little bit more complicated out there. The Storm Prediction Center, which issues these forecasts showing an enhanced risk of severe weather back into around the Arklatex area, all the way back up to around Kansas City. What this means, this sort of light orange color is going to be the best threat for severe weather as we go from Friday early in the afternoon into Friday night, moving into the Mid-South from Friday night into Saturday morning. That's going to be the worst of the worst from what we see for right now. Now, again, for the Mid-South, the one thing to remember at this point is that we are not under an enhanced risk, but we still have a slight risk category little less chance here, slight risk for the yellow, and marginal in the bright green, which means an even lesser threat. But here's the important thing to remember. We still have a threat for the entire Mid-South area. It may not be much, but it is still a potential for severe weather. Now, again, for those of you who want to push the hype button, go right ahead. I don't mind. I'm not going to agree with you on that. I'm trying to tell you what's going on, what the forecast shows, and has been borne out pretty well by the accuracy ratings from the Storm Prediction Center to show this is what's going to be happening and when. Now, this forecast will change, but again, this is just sort of a distant early warning to let you know more about what may be coming our direction. And in this case, severe weather could include isolated large hail, damaging winds, and unfortunately, I know a lot of you don't want to hear it, but you got to pay attention to this. Again, the possibility of maybe some isolated tornadoes. Now, most of the threat should be, again, out west of us, on Friday afternoon and evening, but it is going to be moving our direction as we get into Friday night and Saturday morning. So this is something we're going to be paying attention to with a lot of interest over the next couple of days, especially here. Again, keep up to date with the forecast at our website and also on air. We'll keep you updated as to what may be coming our direction. So this definitely bears watching. Now's the time to kind of start getting toward the idea of getting things together, making certain that you've got your weather radio, having fresh batteries, have numerous weather ways to get warning, whether it is on the line, on air, or again through the radio waves, whatever you've got. Don't just depend on listening for the tornado sirens. It's not going to work too well, especially in today's structures, which are a lot better produced and don't have quite as much ability to let sound waves in through the fairly again, flimsy walls from way back when. So again, if you want to know what's going on, you got to have multiple ways of finding out stuff in and around the Mid-South. Also, don't forget about our app available as well. 
keep you updated on the forecast there. All right, again, through the rest of the day today, very mild temperatures back in the lower 70s. Getting into tomorrow, pushing 80 degrees with plenty of sunshine, still not seeing anything in the way of precipitation until we get into late afternoon and evening on Friday. That's also where we start to see the thunderstorms after lunchtime and right into dinner time, and some of those could linger right into around Saturday morning. Now, after this whole system moves on through, cold air gets dragged down from the north, and that's going to drop our temperatures once again into the mid-50s. So it's going to be about 15 to 20 degrees cooler across parts of the Mid-South as we go throughout the latter portion of the weekend, and skies will begin to clear as well. Warming back up again, a little bit below normal on Monday. Tax day next Tuesday looks okay for now. So if you're waiting until the last minute to file the taxes at the post office, at least weather is not going to be a main concern for the time being. Back to around 80 degrees by next Friday and another chance of a few showers and thunderstorms out there. And that's going to be again about the lower 70s or so. Uh, Danren Sykes, when will hurricane season start? That begins officially uh, June 1st, and it goes all the way through December 1st. Very good question, and we're awaiting uh, National Weather Service's forecast to see how active they think the season is going to be. And if you'd like to check out more about that, all you have to do is go to hurricanes, plural, hurricanes with an S dot G-O-V, and that'll take you directly to the National Weather Service Forecast Center in Florida for more information about what's going on with the hurricanes out there. So a great opportunity to learn more about that. Thank you very much. Very good question on there. Angie Barthel, wish I could have brought you a cup of coffee. On mornings like this, I always bring along a thermos. It's back there someplace, and I've already gone through about a third of it so far. And if anything fails, I've got the uh, coffee machines back in the canteen area. But thank you very much. It's very kind of you to do so right there. Coffee is a very good thing for this morning. Courtney Love Campbell, Chicago, cold and rainy in the Windy City. Thank you very much. Send me down a slice of the uh, deep dish pizza, if you will. Haven't been up there for that in quite some time. Rest of the day today, again, we'll be keeping track of the forecast. Mine on the radio on AM 730 with Bob and Josh on Talkback Live. You can follow them on Twitter and again or on Facebook. And if you can't get them because you're out of the viewing area, listening area, I should say, you all you have to do is dial them up online at talkbacklivenetwork.org for more information on that. And of course, we'll have details throughout the rest of the day. I'll have another weather overtime coming up at about 1030 this morning, depending on when we get done taping all of our updates at about 10 o'clock or so. And that'll be about 1035 if you have friends friends or loved ones serving in the United States military. Stay tuned for this one coming up in about two hours because I'll be talking about weather where the troops are. It's a good opportunity for you to keep up to date with weather around the world at various locations nearby where American troops may be serving. It's just our little thank you to everybody on the home front and also to all those who are wearing the uniform of our country in whatever form or fashion. So please tune in at about 1030 this morning and that'll be on my Facebook page, also on Periscope and Twitter where you can find out a lot more on that one right there. Uh, Lisa Marie, thanks a lot for all the updates. Th thanks a lot for all the updates from Sardis, Mississippi. Uh, thank you very much for that. 60s is great. Tommy's jo Tommy Jones, yeah, looking very mild out there for right now. Winter and spring got together and had a little sprinter. Pamela Denise Nichols, very nice uh, combination on that one. And Richard Price, good morning from Whitehaven. Thanks for joining us out there. More weather coming up throughout the rest of the morning on News Channel 3 on air. And also don't forget to join us online for the complete forecast at wrg.com slash weather. Questions or concerns, something you'd like to see on here, I'd love to be able to feature it, but unless you say something, I don't know about it. So austin.onic at wrg.com be a great opportunity to let us know more about what you think on there. Stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the morning, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Stay tuned for much more again throughout the rest of the day with News Channel 3.